Hey folks, David Stewart here. Time for your daily trending for the 7th of June, 2020. And a bunch of stuff here is bright and circuses, I guess. It's TV shows and I don't watch TV and I don't plan on watching TV. So I have no idea what to say about any of these like Insecure HBO. I guess this is a show on HBO. I don't watch HBO. I don't have HBO. I don't deal with HBO Go. Uh, I, so I don't know anything about it. Terry Crews, people trying to cancel Terry Crews because he said, and I'll find exactly the tweet here, he said, uh, defeating white supremacy without white people creates black supremacy. Equality is the truth. Like it or not, we are all in, the, in this together. And uh, that upset a lot of people here because, uh, you know, people don't like the idea of black supremacy. Black supremacy, by the way, was the main plot of the Black Panther movie it was, you know, you had Killmonger, who's Black Hitler, saying we're going to create a worldwide black-dominated society of um, black supremacy, and all other races will be subservient to the Wakandan master race, and then the worldwide African race. Uh, just as a fun reminder of the, of the plot of Black Panther. So black black supremacy. There are black supremacists out there, but. No one really takes them seriously. He's mostly talking about equality, and people get very upset about equality now because uh, the whole narrative has shifted past equality towards other things such as uh, what they call equity, which is basically that the more disadvantaged should get more, um, which is uh, not really equality or past what people would think of as about equality of means towards just equality of outcomes and things like that. Trump slogans. If you want to know Trump slogans, just read his Twitter. And uh, Trump's Twitter is always pretty interesting. Every tweet is designed to uh, demoralize his opponents and to shore up his supporters. That's the basis behind his success with communication. And the people who don't understand Trump being on Twitter don't really understand who he's talking to or how he's actually communicating it. It's actually quite difficult to do what he does you know, on Twitter. And they get upset because um, usually what you have with with um, people tweeting is that you have a whole army of uh, leftist reporters doing this on behalf of leftist politicians while the leftist politicians can basically uh, lie back and attack their opponents from a distance and never be called out on it. Uh, whereas you don't have a right-wing media that's really willing to do this. So Trump does it directly and gets his hands dirty and it's been pretty successful for him at least in the last election and it'll probably be successful for him in this next election too. So we'll just skip on past that one. 90 Day Fiance, I guess this is another show. Don't know anything about it. Um, and it sounds like a really bad setup. Some kind of thing where like you have to marry someone in 90 days. I don't know about that. Kuko, I guess this is a musician I've never heard of. Everyone's saying he's a pedophile. I have no evidence of that, and I don't know any of the drama surrounding it. So uh, if you know who that is, maybe that concerns you. I have no idea. Camping world, RVs. Now, this is a thing that uh, has always been kind of funny to me, is RV camping. Um, so RV camping is something I never did growing up, and... My wife was talking to me earlier about RV camping. There was a totally gross picture. I just scrolled past there. She's like, well, we'll get an RV and we'll go camping. It's like, that's not really camping. Like, to me, camping is you walk to a place and like set up a tent and uh, pack it up and walk out later and go to another place. Camping to me is not really like, let's bring a trailer with a bathroom and a stove and all this stuff. I thought you're supposed to be rough in it at least a little bit. Um, rather than bringing a hotel room with you. But I don't know. You know, if you like RV camping and that's your thing, you know, let me know down below in the comments section. That's what that's about. I guess there's a Bruce Lee documentary. I haven't watched it, so I don't have anything to say about it. Black Supremacy, that goes back to the Terry Crews thing. Um, a lot of this stuff is actually just like related to shows. Uh, Downtown Phoenix, it's going to be people being bad, more people being bad. And uh, bandits, banditos running all over downtown, um, downtown Phoenix, and lighting on lighting things on fire because um, that's the way to solve the systemic problem is to destroy property. This reminds me. There's always been more talk the last couple of days of people disbanding police forces. I mentioned that a couple of days ago about why that's uh, basically they're operating on a false set of assumptions. I would add to that. 
you know, you can't operate under the assumption that all people are just going to be good if you solve systemic problems. That's the unconstrained vision. The reality is, is that uh, people that have been given all the advantages will turn into um, brainwashed Antifa members and start fires in downtown Phoenix. Now, and they are not victims of any particular system other than the public education system, which brainwashed them into morons. But they're certainly not disadvantaged in the way, say, inner city blacks are. And yet they are out committing crimes. So that's what we'll look at for Twitter for today. Um, YouTube stuff. Not that much to look at. The number one trending here is a, a funny little animation video I watched about having an allergic reaction. And um, I, my wife actually had this happen. I, we think it was from fabrics. She had like a crazy swelling of her face randomly. And it wasn't as bad as what's being described in here where the, the girl had to go to the hospital and get epinephrine. But uh, random allergic reactions can be quite a frightening thing to deal with. Um, and uh, especially ones that require you to seek medical attention and you have to go through and try to figure out what's wrong. Um, actually, years ago, my wife was having, uh, had like basically kind of a similar situation and they actually figured out that she was uh, allergic to gluten, not, uh, not just like a, um, a celiac disease thing, like a, an actual immune system allergy to gluten, which is pretty rare. So uh, that's the protein in, in wheat. For those of you who, who don't know, like wonder what gluten-free is, it usually means wheat-free. It's the main protein in wheat. So in order to avoid that, you just avoid wheat products and you're usually pretty good to go on there. Um, I built the world's largest Lego tower, except they're building it out of like mega blocks and Duplos. So it's not really Legos. Uh, so I'm going <laughs> to, I don't really think so with that one. Let's see what else. The official birth of the royalty family baby. I can't believe they put this on YouTube. I did not put birth of my children on YouTube. Maybe I should have. I don't think my wife would want that though. That's a rather intimate thing. Again, things that are just a little bit too intimate to be on YouTube. People crying into the camera, people having, um, babies on camera. Now this one, I have no idea what's going on here. I made a giant board game in a water park, but the thumbnail has an attractive blonde in a swimsuit. So it's easy to see how this one ends up trending because people like to look at pretty people. And uh, I guess that's about, this is cool. Like painting Russian nesting dolls. I like that this is trending. This seems like something very wholesome. I approve. And, uh, oh, we just found this out about a baby or something. Um, and then some stuff from, you know, some UFC highlights and that kind of stuff. Oh, this was um, Linus Tech Tips. He he basically talked some smack on the PlayStation 5 and then corrected himself because he realized that, um, you know, he was, he was being a little too harsh. And so he spent basically 13 minutes saying like, no, the PS5 might actually, might actually have really good speed for reasons that I didn't really think of. Um, so whatever, I appreciate that. Uh, it, it, it made me want to buy a PS5 more, but not that much, you know, uh, you have to consider how much you really like the, <laughs> the company at this point, but I don't know. We'll, we'll deal with that a little bit later in the year when that's more, a little more pertinent. So that's your daily trending for today. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Newest book is called Tyrant's Gallow. It will be out on June 16th. It is a sequel to City of Silver. It's a direct sequel. Um, maybe I'll have like a, a giveaway or something, just give away a bunch of copies of the first book for people who maybe want to get into it. And uh, so stay tuned. Make sure you're subbed to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.